Hi everyone, it's Hayley. I don't know if you can see me very well. My eyes are squinting, so I'm going to have to do this with my sunglasses on. I'm sorry. Um, there, now I'm not squinting at a, up a storm here. We are outside today. And it's a lovely Sunday afternoon. And I am enjoying outside with my baby in the pram and my big kid in the sandpit. And I'm just enjoying the sun here. Got a lovely day. Um, so I thought I would do my vlog outside. Hopefully the wind is not making too much noise on the um, on the camera. You right, buddy? Yeah. So, Hi. Mm. do you want a drink of water, hen? Okay. Here you go. Thanks. Give me your bottle. Um, so I'm doing this handheld at the moment. So you'll have to excuse. It's going to be very wobbly. Um, a wobbly uh, video but um, yeah so we are five weeks and one day postpartum Caius is five weeks and one day old it's much better. oh fabulous I'm glad that's much better um, unfortunately daddy is at work today so it's just us three here at home which sucks that he can't be home on a nice day to enjoy this but you know so anywho this week's video is going to be all about planning um, and I'm planning a lot of things um, currently five weeks you know postpartum next week once I am six weeks postpartum I start um, I'm going to start exercising like regularly again um, I felt like I could hey, give Mom. myself. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. How are you going? I have to go. Where, where are you off to, hun? I have to go. Um, so, yeah, sorry. Next week I am starting. Ooh, next week I'm starting um, back doing regular exercise. And um, I decided that I would give myself six weeks to pretty much do whatever I want really as far as food and not um, when I say do whatever I want just eat um, what I need to eat and things to make sure I have a good um, milk supply so that's a good, good amount of carbs and stuff hang on yeah so I'm starting at six weeks back on the bandwagon so to speak um, with exercise and with food really going to be doing my very best um, so I've been planning um, like what exercise I'm going to do exercises um, and what I'm going to do about my food I've been planning all that this week um, so I've, you know starting to get things you know being prepared is going to help it to work you know if I'm prepared and can have things you know pre-done um, ready to go and not have to be standing over the stove or um, in the kitchen for ages preparing food then that's going to be good so I've been doing uh, that today really um, and planning out what I'm going to do exercise wise it's not going to be anything um, crazy or long-winded hi hey. hi probably like just half an hour bursts um at the most if hey, i you know, get those in hello. hello um but exercising you know hey mom hi like all week so um next week when i start that i'll be keeping you guys up to date you know every week and during the week as well doing little um diary sort of things really I'm also planning um, for a night away without both my babies um, in two weeks time my wonderful husband is um, has got a graduation and he is graduating um, and so it's a big fancy formal dinner graduation celebration 
So um, I am going to be away for 24 hours from both my babies and um, I am planning ahead for that in regards to having plenty of milk. Hi mom. Hi honey. I Ready for Kaius to have while I am gone. So I've been pumping every day. Um, and I'm going to be starting to introduce the bottle to, to Caius um, this coming week to get him used to it. He's never had the bottle before. Um, to get him used to it really for when um, my mum and my dad come to look after the boys for 24 hours. Um, he's going to need to be able to take a bottle. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I don't know when I'm going to introduce it to him. Probably tomorrow. Um, I'll do that and um, yeah see how that goes but yeah I've been pumping um, pretty much every day not like heaps every day but um, I've been pumping sort of like every day for quite a while sort of you know weeks now so um, I've got a good stash already um, but what I'm going to do is tomorrow I will like before like before he wakes up from a nap I will um, pump and see how much I can get from both sides like a full because I don't do a full at the moment I just pump um, after a feed um, not every feed but like after the morning feed when I'm quite full I just pump um, after he's had what he wants just to finish emptying it out so it doesn't get too engorged. So I'm sort of only pumping 40, 50 mils um, a day. Um, so I really want to see how much I can get off both sides and then give it to him a bottle to see how much he actually drinks so then I can sort of have an idea, you know. He's getting upset. I think he wants something to eat. Do you want some booby darling? Yes, he does. Hang on a second. Do you want some booby, baby? Hey, do you want some booby? I had to move position so I could feed the baby in the shade. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm so... Uh, windy. Um, <laughs> I am... Yeah, doing pumping and going to be introducing the bottle so that just purely for the maybe this will be the only occasion that I'll be away from him for 24 hours probably but yeah it's gonna be 24 hours without my babies um, I was not away from AJ for 24 hours until he was a year and a half old so and he's he wasn't having um, he wasn't still breastfeeding so this is going to be interesting, but I'm really looking forward to it. I've bought an evening dress ready to get all dolled up and cute. So um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be so awesome to be able to actually watch my husband graduate. Um, so we'll be staying in a hotel for the night and it's going to be so much fun. And um, yeah, we're going to be out of town. So really looking forward to that. So that's that planning. Um, what else am I sort of planning? I'm in the sort of midst of um, planning and sort of organ getting organised, I guess, um, just for like creating sort of this, not a new routine, but um, evolving the routine we currently have, um, sort of our sort of daily routine, um, evolving it so that I can get a chore done each day and some exercise done each day and I'm sort of redoing um, my washing schedule of what washing I do on what day and that sort of stuff. Um, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this but AJ is now in daycare um, a couple of days a week just for a morning so he's in daycare two mornings a week. Um, so I'm going to be definitely taking advantage of that as far as exercise wise. Um, 
so yeah um, this vlog is just very blah blah at the moment I guess <laughs> um, just feeling really good and yeah oh I'm also um, planning on getting Caius to self settle I thought I would um, I tried it I tried it this morning and it didn't work um, he's not ready yet he's too young um, and why, what I mean by self settling he has the dummy at the moment um, which is fine um, but you know I have to go in a couple of times to put it back in before yeah, it doesn't fall out again before he's, you know, in a deep sleep. Um, once he's asleep, he sleeps fine. It's not a problem. It's just getting him to sleep um, without it. Yeah, doesn't really work. It works at night, though. Like, he doesn't have his dummy at night. Um, he self-settles at night quite fine. So, it's just a daytime thing, I guess. But, um, yeah, I wanted to, I want to self, get him to learn how to self-settle like I did with AJ. Um, but I don't think I started doing that with AJ until he was eight weeks old. So I've decided I'm going to hold off on, um, trying to get Caius to self-settle until he's at least eight weeks old. Um, I guess you could say I use the cried out method, but not to the point where they're hysterical. Um, with AJ, with his self-settling, I think I've talked about um, yeah, it was self-settling, self I know it's the cry it out method, really it makes it sound like you're just leaving your baby there to cry until they just stop and go to sleep, but that's not what I do, I can't do that. Um, my, the way I did it with AJ was, you know, you put them down in their bed, you leave the room, and then if they start crying, you put the timer, you start the timer, um, and I would let him cry for one minute, and then I would go in and soothe him and calm him, and then when he was calm, I would leave the room, and then if he started crying again, I would set the timer, and then I'd wait two minutes before I would go in and calm him and soothe him, until he was relaxed again, and then I would leave, and I would go three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, and I only ever ended up leaving him for six minutes um, was the longest I ever had to leave him um, and that's how he learned to self-soothe he also figured out how to get his hand out of his swaddle and stick his fingers in his mouth and suck his fingers but um, yeah before he learned how to do that I had to he learned how to sort of oh. self-settle so I do want a, um, Caius to learn how to do that, but he is too young. Um, I, I've started, I tried too early. So, but yeah, so I'll just see how I go. See how he goes, what he's comfortable with. But yeah, I just, I tried it this morning and I quickly realized I was like, nah, he's not ready yet and I'm not gonna make him suffer, so. Um, stuck the dummy in his mouth and he was out to it so um, but yeah I do want him to learn how to self settle eventually I don't know why I thought I needed to rush it because I don't um, I don't know why I thought I needed to rush it it's funny because he's only five weeks old yet I feel like he's so much older than that and I don't know why I feel like he's so much older than that um, I guess like I sort of touched on last week it feels like he's always been here. It feels like he's been here forever. Like, like he was never not here. Um, so yeah, it's just weird. Like he's only five weeks old. Only. It, it just feels like he's so much older than that. I don't know whether that's because he just seems like he's doing things earlier than AJ. When in actual fact, he's not. He's doing them the same time as AJ did. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm in such a better headspace this time around. Um, in all honesty, 
in all honesty, I do not remember very much from the first sort of four or five weeks of AJ's life. Um, just little bits, not, yeah, I was not with it, um, unfortunately. So I think because I am with it this time around, I'm, um, thankfully I am in such a better headspace and um, able to take it all in that I don't know, I, yeah, I guess, yeah, I just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, but I definitely feel more involved and more um, like I'm, I'm taking every single day in and I'm taking it all in and everything. Um, and I feel, I do feel guilty still, two and a half years later, that, um, that I don't remember um, a whole lot about the first four or five weeks of AJ's life. Um, unfortunately for me it's shrouded in a lot of bad memories of how I was thinking and feeling and a lot of guilt and regret in that sort of regard. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I just have to learn to sort of deal with that. And, um, so yeah, so that's, yeah, I think that's, that's going to be this week's sort of vlog thing. Um, oh, that's right, planning. And talking of planning, um, I've been planning, oh excuse me, videos of what videos I'm going to do um, coming up. So, um, just a few, you know, different ones. Because um, next week is the last week that I do my weekly updates with a baby sort of thing. I'll be doing those sort of bi-weekly updates on Caius and AJ. Um, and, you know, that's whole adjustment to two kids sort of thing. Um, so that'll be bi-weekly after next week. Um, from next week I'll be doing weekly, you know, um, videos about how I'm going with losing baby weight and toning up and trying to get a body somewhat um, that I am comfortable with and happy in. I mean I'm I'm happy in the body I have now but I I want to be I want to be better. Um, so weekly videos on that will be coming. Um, I'm going to do a video, I will be doing a video if you're interested in seeing it on my postpartum depression experience um, and how I, what I did to prevent it this time, that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to do a video on how we named our children and where their names came from or come from. I'm going to do a day in the life video. Um, I've not done one before, um, but I am going to do one. What else am I going to do? I have, I think there's a couple more ones that I want to do. I can't remember them now. Yeah, I can't remember what. I think there's a couple more, but yeah. So, that's, you know, planning and, and the works. So, yeah, um, I'm going to leave it there for now because um, I've probably babbled on for...